Hey guys, welcome back to Cottonwood Hill Farms. So today we're gonna cut some more hay. I've got that three acres across the road. It's uh, grass. It's a little late in the year. It's after the 4th of July, which I'm probably a month later than I really would like to be to have that cut, but whatever, it'll still be all right hay. Uh, it'll still be decent. So I gotta get that cut. Uh, that's that little patch, it's three acres. It's kind of three little, it's, it's almost evenly split between the three acres, three little patches, and they're all almost triangles, kind of. Well, one's kind of, one's more of a square, I guess, but the other two are triangles, but none of them are, none of them are perfect, perfectly uh, shaped. And so a lot of point rows, it's kind of a pain in the butt to, to bale, to rake, rake, mow, rake, and bale. And uh, I don't usually like to square bale it just because of the point rows. You get a lot of uneven bales and things like that, but I uh, don't really have much of a choice this year. We need the square bales. We're doing everything in squares the rest of the year. So I'm gonna go uh, get that done first and then I'm gonna head over here and uh, the rest of that alfalfa, I'm gonna get cut for second cutting. It's uh, it's about three and a half, well, probably three acres, somewhere around three acres. So I'm gonna go get that done next. And then after that, I need to get the, uh, we got a chance of rain tomorrow night. Today's Sunday and Monday night, there's a chance of rain. One app says 40%, the other app says 70%. So who knows? We might get rain, we might not get rain, but uh, they're only saying I think a few tenths or something like that, maybe a quarter inch. I'm not too concerned with it. I just, I want to get my truck unhooked from the trailer. That way if it does rain, I don't have to worry about that. The trailer's already back here and I don't have to worry about the mud. And then after getting done cutting with everything, or cutting everything, and then I've been working, I've been trying to straighten some of this stuff up out here. My father-in-law has been helping me a lot this summer, but uh, I want to keep moving on that because uh, this, I just had stuff laying everywhere, nothing was organized. and. So he started helping me, which has got me motivated to kind of keep going on it. So I've been moving moving some things around, just trying to make it look a little bit nicer. Plus it's easier to mow around and kind of keep the grass and the weeds and stuff down. So after we get done mowing, I'm gonna get back on that. Just got some more tanks and some things to move around. So anyway, let's get going.
Well, once again, I ran out of daylight. I, uh, after I got done cutting hay, Gina got home and needed a little bit of help, so I had to help her for a little bit. And then by the time I was done with that, it was about time to get ready to do chores and everything. So didn't get my truck, uh, the trailer unhooked my truck, not that big of a deal. And uh, I didn't get anything else moved out here, but <clears throat> my father-in-law is coming up tomorrow to mow. So uh, we'll probably, he'll probably have him help me with this a little bit and get some of this stuff moved and whatnot. But so we're gonna light up a big old bonfire now. And uh, we got a whole big brush pile that we're gonna burn. It's <clears throat> I got some more brush that I'm gonna need to throw on there and this one's getting pretty darn big so we're just gonna go ahead and burn it nice night for it there's no breeze at all uh, it's a beautiful night actually so I figure we'll uh, light that up and watch her go down you want to sit on mom's lap mm. I, I didn't know mm. okay oh my goodness yeah. <laughs> Mom. Mom. Make fire. What are you doing, dude? I made, I made fire. And we are making a fire. All right, so it's the next day. I uh, we got that pile burned up. That burned down pretty good, but uh, I uh, got all the chores and everything done. Now I'm gonna. Uh, <clears throat> I got a feed. I got a cow tied up here. That uh, one of those heifers at number two that I've been training, and uh, it's going real well too, by the way. And uh, that video will come out right after this one, I believe. I think that's how that's gonna work. So anyway, stay tuned for that. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna, uh, I gotta get some, uh, bring one of these grass bales over so uh, I can make sure these dry cows got, or uh, these fresh cows got enough, uh, enough fiber in their diet too. So I'm gonna put it over here by the barn, but I'm also gonna feed that to, to that number two that I got tied up. So I gotta get that done. And then I'm gonna start working on, we, we're gonna reorganize some of this stuff. It just. For years, I've been, I've had all kinds of stuff laying around here, and so I'm trying to get this stuff halfway straightened up so it doesn't look so terrible. But uh, it, it, that's the way a farm is. I mean, everybody sees it as junk, but I see it as resources. But anyway, we're gonna this trailer right here, this old low boy. I got to go through the wood on that, and we're gonna sort out some stuff and get it moved over here. And then those, uh, that row of, of equipment, we're gonna get moved over here. And those, I got a couple fuel tanks. I got to get moved, and I just want to straighten this up so it looks a little bit nicer and it's a little bit easier to uh, to navigate. And then over. By this tree over here, we've got a, I got some wagons and a bunch of stuff down there, and my that old moco I want to get brought up here, put it park it over here. My plan is to work on that this winter, and so I'm just I just need to get some stuff rearranged around here. It's going to make me feel better and it'll make it look a little bit nicer. So let's get going. so it's the next day uh, we uh, got quite a bit done I didn't get any of it on video I we got busy with stuff and wasn't really thinking but we got the yard all cleaned up we got a lot of equipment moved around and kind of everything just kind of consolidated and and uh, somewhat organized so it looks a lot nicer but uh, anyway I'm gonna run down I gotta grab the cows uh, before I bring them back up though I've got to put up a couple more fences make a couple more paddocks I'm going to do that real quick so I can, when I bring them, when I let them go after I milk them, they're, uh, they're on fresh grass. And then uh, I'm going to hurry up and finish chores. And then as soon as I'm done with chores, we're going to start raking. I've got the, uh, I, the rake is all ready to go. I just got to hook it up to the tractor. And uh, I'm going to try and get this raked as quick as I can and then get it bailed right away. Because we're supposed to get, a, I think, up to an inch of rain. They're calling for heavy storms and stuff tonight. So I want to make sure we get this up uh, and going. Um, we're going to put this in the barn up in the hayloft. So uh, I'm kind of excited. I get to use my, I, I bought a, uh, a new, new to me elevator last year and or last fall. And I actually I think it was in the winter, but uh, the old one that we've had, and I'll show you the old one we had that grandpa's had for that thing's older than dirt. It's a, it's an actually neat old elevator the way it's designed, but it just, uh, it's just kind of wore out. It, it needs a few new sprockets and things like that. And it was going to cost me like 350, 400 bucks. And I think I paid 400 for this this new elevator that I got. So I don't know, maybe a future project for Lakota and I 
Uh, I don't like getting rid of stuff. You guys know that. So maybe we'll we'll get that old elevator fixed because it is kind of a neat elevator and it does serve its purpose. But get to use the new one today. So I'm kind of excited about that. Well, good morning, ladies. What a beautiful sunrise. All right, so I got my uh, fences up. Got the new paddock ready, so when I let the cows out, they got fresh grass to come down onto. What's this way, look. What are you doing? Trying to look at the legs for the hour. Yeah? yeah? Probably not working. It's not working, huh? You're getting pretty ambitious, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, tree trying. Looks like your uh, jack's a little too high for that hitch, huh? We are trying to do that. So, tell me where the stop is. That yeah. way we need <laughs> that. I mean this. It's not gonna work. Daddy, stop it, stop. Gotta love it. All right, well, chores and milking are done. That took way, way longer than it should have. I'm, I've got two new cows that I'm milking, and uh, they're just uh, we're we're just we're working through some things. That's all. It took a lot longer than it should have. Anyway, I'm gonna throw. Uh, Throw this garlic salt out. I haven't done that yet, so I'm gonna put this garlic salt out for the cows so they can uh, they can have this. We'll see if it works. I don't know. Um, a lot of guys use this for fly control. It's supposed to be good, so we're gonna see kind of how it works. But uh, I'm uh, after I do this, I'm gonna head over and hook up to the rake, and we're gonna head out. Hey Shania, you want to taste this? Not bad. It's not bad. Come taste this, Lakota. What is it? Garlic mineral salt. Ooh, it's actually, it's actually really good. <laughs> Tastes as good as it smells. No, don't use your dirty glove. Take your glove off. That's the whole entire thing. Man, that actually is really good. It's good, isn't it? It's like garlic. Yep. All right, so we're out here raking. I, uh, as always, I'm later than I wanted to be, but you get what you get when you're uh, the one-man show. So um, it actually doesn't look too bad, and I've only got a couple acres, so this ain't gonna take very long to get done. Uh, I just want to get this rake to get it bailed as fast as I can because it is going to dry out but it should be pretty good stuff it was blooming when I cut it as you saw but uh, I still think there's a lot of leaves uh, it's looking really good raking it right now so if I can get it done here pretty quick I think we'll be fine much video of it because uh, as you can see it's all hills and it's a couple triangles and then in the back back there it's not much better and so it's really hard to film and turn and whatnot but uh, anyway now we're gonna go uh, hook up to the baler and uh, get ready to bail
So we sheared a pin again, and I, I kind of showed you how to time it in one of those last videos, the last square bailing video, but I forgot one piece of that. So when it gets out of time, you gotta have it top dead center between these two notches right here. There's a notch and there's a notch. And then back here, you gotta have these two notches lined up for me across from each other. And then the third part is you gotta have this right here between these two notches because the other ones pertain to the needles. You don't want the needles up when that plunger comes back. And then the other notches over there that you got to have, that's your fingers that, that pull the, uh, they pull the uh, hay into the, uh, into the plunger. Well, there's a knife that slides back and cuts. And if you have those fingers at a time, they'll come back and the knife will cut those off. since like December and so I've been just been chopping at the bit to, to use it. He kicked me out of the tractor because he wanted to drive by himself. That's what I like to see. Cows are coming in on their own. Tonight's gonna be a late night. It's seven o'clock and I haven't even started getting ready to milk yet or do chores for that matter. So it's gonna be a late night, but we'll get it done.
Okay, well, I uh, got done with chores and milking and everything. It's, uh, it's definitely a late night. I think it's a little after 11 o'clock. I'm just closing up the shop now. But uh, that, uh, we got the hayloft not quite full. I think that holds like 280 bales. And uh, today we got, let's see, that alfalfa. It's gotta be a couple acres. I've never measured it, but we got, we got 59 bales on that alfalfa. And then we got 137 squares off of uh, the neighbors across the road of that grass hay. So just under, just under 200 bales. So uh, that, uh, that's a really good feeling. The elevator did great. And uh, I haven't been able to put hay up in that hayloft in a couple years because that other, I've had problems with that old elevator. I, I would get it fixed and then something else would break on it. And, but I think last year what we did was we used the loader on the tractor and just filled up the loader and then raised it up to the, uh, to the door and brought them in that way. And I think we, ended, we only put like 30 or 40 bales up there that way uh, last year. But anyway, really good feeling to have that uh, done. I'm gonna get that on third or fourth cutting. I'm not sure which one yet, but I will end up filling that. There's probably, we got room for another 80, 90 bales, something like that, I think up there. So we will fill it eventually. But uh, anyway, that's gonna be it for the video, guys. Thanks for tagging along. Like always, we appreciate the support, the comments and likes and everything like that. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share the video. If you know anybody else that uh, might like our content, share the channel and uh, you can follow us on Instagram, Facebook. We're pretty active on there. Thanks for coming along, guys. We appreciate it. And uh, if you're still watching, we really appreciate that. You guys take care, and we'll see you in the next one.